being involved at Kansas State Fair and the Kansas Fairground Foundation, you, you kind of think you know a little bit about your buildings here, but I've actually learned a lot in the last few months because we have a, a building called the House of Capper that's just east of the administration building that um, has been standing since 1913. And it's had a couple of renovations and has evolved over time, kind of taken back to the initial footprint. But it's actually gonna need to be torn down. It is uninhabitable at this time. At the last State Fair Board meeting, we had the opportunity to tour the fairgrounds and we got to see the House of Capper. And unfortunately, it's just not in a very good state. There's electrical wires showing and a lot of foundational issues. So hopefully we can restore this beautiful piece of history and move forward so our children can enjoy it as much as we have. Well, the Capper building is one example of a building with uh, very important architecture and a real legacy to the fairgrounds. It's my understanding that this is the site that many local or even national political leaders launched their uh, career, announced their uh, candidacy. So there's, there's just a lot of history and if you look at the architecture of that building, uh, it's indeed something we want to replicate and, and keep uh, as a very important part of this fairground. On each state fairgrounds, there's a lot of history, but there's also a lot of new buildings. And I think that's where the, like the Capper building comes in because it has so much history. Some of the other buildings on the, the Bison Arena, all those buildings have so much history that's dear to the older generation like myself. But the younger generation don't realize how much history has, you know, been in those buildings. So I think it's important that we maintain and keep the history going, but yet change is inevitable. We've got to go with the times, but yet we want to have that base of the nostalgia, the history of the fair. So the Capper building is going to be one of the focuses over the next 12 months in terms of fundraising. It's a facility that's always been here. You know what it is, but it needs some serious loving. And it's actually been condemned at the current moment. Uh, and for those in agriculture, if you do a little research on what the Capper uh, means and to us, it, it was the development of the um, Co-op Act, about it'd be 100 years next year. And so that's kind of the push is here to have that remodeled and fixed and finished for uh, Kansas State Fair 2022 to have a 100 year celebration there focused around that building.